Radio you can touch. Showtime. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. ready. This is the Bob and Jeff Show, starring Bob Lutz. Feels like old home week. I know what you mean. Jeff Lutz. Definitely old home week when you're here. I hear you loud and clear. And Jason Duda. For today, anyway. It's old home week? Are you saying I'm old or that I should be in a home? Yes. Alrighty then. 97.5 and 1240 KFH. Stand by for action. Welcome back. Our number two of Bob and Jeff. Woo! Just got done playing catch. Duda and Bob are still out there playing catch. I'm not sure if they're going to show up for our... Number two, (laughs) or not. Uh, But it would be nice if uh, maybe they came back. 869-1240, the IHOP hotline, all-you-can-eat pancakes back at IHOP, believe it or not. Uh, And here come the two battered and bruised veterans. Now, I can still barely speak. What are you guys up to? Yeah, get your headsets on. On the show, man. Yeah, I thought you you, were... So needy. How do you needy what? Hey, the IHOP hotline pancakes. How, how is that needy? Here come the guy. I mean, do that, the sh- talk to the people. Explain how that's needy. Talk to the people. Right. I think it was fantastic. Thank you. I thought I did a good job. I knew you were going to be back in ten seconds. What am I going to accomplish in ten seconds? No. Oh. I just, you want me to do? Out of breath. I don't want to talk about it. I'm really out of breath. Really? I'm the only one. Yeah, in I threw here? as hard as I could. That had to be at least 45, 50 miles an hour. I, Who throws harder? The seventy-year-old or the forty-one-year-old? <laughs> There's no way, he dude. Does. Seriously, he was throwing it a lot harder. There's no way. way. You did throw a couple. I mean, next break, I'll double check. Okay. We'll go back out. I'll give you a chance. I'm to tired though. Throw them. I had a lot of throws already in my arm. You know what I'm saying? I'd made a lot of throws but, already. But his answer well, was wasn't fresh. You me. only need one. It was your answer, me. As of right now, because we were just playing catch. I mean, you were Looked trying like to. He s- was trying to throw it pretty hard there at the end. He was. No, I wasn't trying. That was the that, hardest. Yeah, I could that's throw. basically all we got right now. It's pretty <laughs> pathetic. We throw it, and it was ow, oh. It's not even ow. It's I have nothing. My arm is completely dead. I know. It's funny because I talk about dead arm and this and that, and I was all, always, well, what do you mean, like and. Now I understand. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there is we're literally the, nothing the, there. We're right. at the Rudd Center doing the show today, and we have a baseball facility. That's why we were out playing catch. But I've played, I've played catch consistently throughout my entire life uh, up to this age, and it shows, right? I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, you, it was, you had a little, yeah, uh, for a 70-year-old, you had a little, little zip for you. <laughs> no, he didn't. I had a little, little, a little zip for a 70 year old. I bet yeah, I, I didn't throw 90 or anything, but I had oh, no. Really? You no. didn't? I thought I, you were throwing 90 a little bit. There. Did you hear his glove pop? His glove uh, barely fit on his hand. I would hope it would pop a little bit. It looks like I still have it on It looks really. like he was just got finished so working I, on a muscle. If mustache. somebody asked me to throw a first pitch from 60 feet, 6 inches, would I be able to do that? Yeah, with a little lob oh. in there. I don't believe you would. When's the last time you made a throw that far? I'll do it here. No, you won't. Oh yeah, well, of course I will. Oh, we're gonna have to step this. There's off no even. Break. There's no sixty feet six inch. Of course think, there is. I think that's too long. Or yeah, out you there's know, not long enough. You wear your. Uh, what's the word I'm looking? At? Your well, that's one, <laughs> and your insecurity. <laughs> Insecurity? Well, you don't like hearing that I throw harder than well, you Well, because do. you don't. There's just no way. Physics wouldn't allow it. It would be embarrassing for me if well, that were true. Would Duda be one? Wouldn't he say, you don't throw hard? He's all over no, me I all think the time. I think for show purposes, he'd put that in your ear, drive me insane, and then how, here's a segment about and it. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to I don't. I don't think I, I don't think I want to. Well, let's ask. Tom was Oops. out there watching. Uh all, who, all I'm who gonna, in your mind threw harder, me or And Jeff. remember, he was throwing from nine feet. True. That is true. That I is got true. a little closer, but I'll go back there. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to mm. have to we'll, we'll have to check yeah, it out. Yeah, I was farther back. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you I this. I think I'm having a stroke right I, now. I didn't, hear any, uh, I didn't hear any whizzing from the seams. Let me just say that. All right? That's, a, that's actually surprising. Yeah, let me ask you this. Who has the better arm at this stage of life? I don't even. What does that even mean? How do you judge your arm? Yeah. How do you want? How do you I do. 
Well, know, you're pretty erratic. Yeah, but I could throw farther. Is my how's my command when I command throw? was okay. Command okay. was okay. Command was okay. It's right there. Well, if you want to say it's right there, that's fine. It I was, could throw farther there. than you on my worst day. Thank you. Now, of course you could. Yes, now. Well, I don't know. Not ever. Now, then, forever, together. Yes, just all of it. Uh, the shame of it is, you have no idea uh, what, what I was as a baseball player. I do have an idea, of you, because I saw it. Yeah. And frankly, mm. but you never yeah. saw. <laughs> you were good. Thank you. Uh, but you never saw me. So what you're relying on is what I say. Uh, what I'm relying on is, dang it, I can't really go there. Cause you go ahead and rely back, on it. Uh, you could come back pretty easily. Go ahead. Uh, what I what I rely on is, eh, Cloud County, we kind of want you, I guess, in a way, sort of. But if you don't come, we won't be brokenhearted. Oh, you want to go do journalism? Darn it. Okay, well. What offers did you get again? <laughs> That's what I said. You could come back. <laughs> I'm waiting. Why didn't I? What what offer did you get? Why didn't I get an offer to play? Because I got two. Answer me that question. I was an all city player. I got zero offers to go. You left your junior year and people forgot about you. How? That's why. Because you weren't there. But I came back my senior yeah, year. Yeah, nobody cared. And was an all city player. Because North was really good. I couldn't have gone to play. North at had eyes on them. In the in what would have been your junior year, I couldn't have gone to play it. They Dodge had City. no eyes on them in, in your senior year. That's it. That's all it takes. I guess it. No, it's serious. That's all it takes. You just need somebody to see you. And yeah. the, and when you got a team that's in a state uh, tournament, there's going to be people looking at you. I wouldn't have gone, but I would have nice to have been courted a little bit you know so i got saw my name in lights got the, actually got, got that courted. cloud county jersey i actually signed a letter of intent i really? was courted i was taken to dairy queen i'm sure you were well, you not got bad back then. not bad right it's a decent deal it's more than i got when i signed with the thunder unlike what our friend uh antonio pierce apparently did when he was at arizona state did you read that story? No, I did not. The Raiders are uh, as snake bitten as an organization can get. They're not snake bitten. They bring it on themselves. There's nothing that's he violated every them. NCAA rule you can imagine. And now he's the coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. It's 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 a travesty. And he liked a post that suggested Devontae Adams shouldn't be with Las Vegas anymore. It is a it is an absolute circus year after year after year. With the Raiders. And then we got guys like our friend Anthony Capra, who just puts up with it. What would you say to Cap? Well, we've said it all the time. What's, but, what and why? I mean, I get it. It's something that's been with you throughout your entire life. Well, for, they they lured you somehow. They had some a, attraction. Because, that, they're, because they used to be good. Do you remember that? You don't. Well, they had some moments. Yeah. But... In the seventies, which is when it all happened for me. Understood. You understand that? Yeah, I know. Everything happened. Everything. I, I, Everything. Literally, your entire life. You talk in about 70s, being pursued, be a, a, encapsulated within. And not 60s. even not even the entire seventies. It's probably seventy-one to seventy-eight. Probably. Well, and don't, don't forget the sixties. I did. Uh, but the Raiders were good, and I was drawn to them because they were a nemesis of the Chiefs, and I didn't want to be with the Chiefs. Uh, too easy. You understand? And now that. you like the Chiefs yeah. more than you like just about anybody. Only be I do like the Chiefs. I know. And I love it that Max, is <laughs> he'll pick this, these clowns New Orleans today. He, of course he will. And he'll never do anything in these picks. It's more important for Max to hate the Chiefs than it is to win the picks. That is not uh, how I'd operate under anything. I well, want to win. The way I operate is to try to win the pick. I, I always want to win, of course. I've had a horrible year. Hopefully I turned it around a little less. Doesn't really matter. I'm running away with this. That's so early. I don't know what you guys are even worried about. It's going to get. You said that last year and you never got it's it. It's going to get oh, late there. for you very early. No, it's already kind of late for you. you. Just wait. No, I'm not concerned about it whatsoever. Nor, yeah. Well, why there's would you one be? thing that's been proven on this show. You're terrible at picking games. Maybe you should be concerned about it. 
I should maybe just pick one game and that's it, because then I'd be good. <laughs> Apparently, Give not. Give my because... one pick for the weekend, and it'll be, and then people. Well, maybe will be that's happy. what you ought to do. Maybe that's what I should start doing. Put a grand on it. Uh, Can I borrow a grand? <laughs> I only got to borrow it once. <laughs> by the way, uh, that's it. I just need it one time, and then away I go. There are oh, there are race. games that you think, man. That's yeah, and then you'll have the grand you've paid. That's it back such an easy yeah. one. If I if I just put. Ten grand on that, yeah, I'd be. I know it's hard. You'd, to, you'd uh, lose. No, you know you'd lose. You give it to me, I'll win. If I use my own, I'd lose. Who really? Yeah. All right. If I do that, you're giving me half of it back. Okay. But if I lose it, you're lo- you're paying the whole baby. <laughs> you agree? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, I don't know most why you wouldn't. Idea. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll do that. Let's do that. Let's try it once. We'll Caitlin, Caitlin Clark named Rookie of the Year in the WNBA. No shock. She's uh, had an incredible, incredible run. And uh, then uh, the trade uh, finalized Julius Randle. Right. And Devante DiVincenzo. What, what? Dante DiVincenzo. Don- to the uh, Timberwolves. To the Timberwolves for Carl Anthony Town. How do you like that trade? I don't really understand it. I don't really understand it from either side, to be honest. The Wolves are trying to uh, create a, a situation where they turn over the reins completely to uh, Anthony Edwards. Yeah. But they still have Nas Reed and Rudy Gobert as big guys. Now they're bringing in Julius Randle. I just don't understand how that really helps. You get Devin Sinzo as a wing player. That's that's good. I just don't know if either team got better out of this trade. It just seemed it's splashy, and it's, uh, it's blockbuster. It makes headlines. I like but the Wolves. Yeah, it's easy to like the wolves, but do they? It's still three big men. Well, you know, you can only play one or two of them at a time. Maybe they're going to change it up. Maybe they're going to throw them all three out there and just see what happens. You never know. Why not? Maybe they will. They got but close last year. I feel year, like but you need to give Nas Reed more minutes, not keep him as the sixth man. And we'll see, I like uh, I like big trades like that. Of course, we can break them down, whatever. But I like. I like the fact that uh, they're trying. Remember when the uh, remember when the Pacers traded for Pascal Siakam? Yeah, what about it? That was a big trade. Brandon Clark really wanted to answer my question. What did he say? So that's one of the best questions you've asked. Better than uh, some of Jeff's. <laughs> and then we uh, then he stopped texting. That's too bad. It's such, such, such a lot of crap. But I'm the insecure one. Like, what's got... wrong with you? What's wrong with it? Because <laughs> that's not what he didn't say that. <laughs> like, that's what's Do you wrong. not pay that's attention to this show? That's what's wrong with it. Yeah, but not when it's somebody else. If it's us, then it's fine. But you can't say I'll that. Throw, Brandon I'll throw Clark Brandon under that. the bus. Oh, yeah. You, you tossed him underneath there. Doesn't, doesn't affect me at all. Sure. You'll sleep just fine, I'm sure. He said a Lancer at a lay, uh, in his next interview. Yeah, I got another good one for him also. What do you have? I'm not going to reveal that no, here. Okay, yeah, I better keep that quiet. <laughs> I really like then, him. And everyone will go run it to him you with know, I like question. most of the people we have on the show, right? I mean, I, the ones so that, for me to say I really like him doesn't really carry a lot of meaning yeah, because you, I really like all the guests we have. Okay, there. Yes, That's he, better. He said but I, but you said I, most of for a second, and then what does that open you well, up to? Well, Weston. Nobody cares about the people you do like. We want to know who you don't like. I like everyone. Okay. I like all these people who take time to come on. We've never had really. I, I enjoy Brandon Clark because here's a humble guy uh, in, in, in all – while in all this success he's had, none of it's gone to his head. He's as determined to help kids as he's ever been, and I just I, I admire that. I admire him. I helped edit his book. Nobody cares. You think I got taken the Dairy Queen for that? I sure didn't. Well, no. Why would you? <laughs> when you edit just... my book, I'll take you to Dairy Queen. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll never forget that recruiting trip to Concord. They really took you to Dairy Queen. No, I think we went to. I think we had lunch in the uh, student center or whatever it was. Yeah, because that existed. Well, no, I th- what do you mean it didn't student exist? Student center at well, Cloud County. Tom went. Tom knows. Tom <laughs> has. There, was there food to eat in the student yes. union? Really? 
Maybe when what? you were there, but not when Bob was there. That was way too long ago. They weren't doing that. Well, he just had to go get out of the there garden. There no and truck back. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, he was there. Sure. I mean, he it was to get five it of us from Derby. Uh, four of those guys played at Cloud Community College. I'm the one that said no. Uh, oh. Always marching to the beat of your own drum. Well, that's what he's telling us. Maybe well, I mean, had I, room for four. I figured it was a better <laughs> idea to. Actually, we filled out our staff, Bob. This after these four guys signed, but we appreciate who recruited you, you again. We appreciate you coming down. <laughs> who recruited you again? <laughs> we'll keep you on speed dial. Oh, you, you're going to hang with that? Yeah, huh? we're rolling with that. Did you? Well, did you ever visit a college or junior college uh, for baseball? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It was a long time ago. The answer to that would be no. <laughs> right? That's too bad. I'm calling out every coach. Kevin Olwellig, you didn't recruit me. Who are some of the other guys back then? I don't have Who any idea. Who was the friends idea. back then? I don't remember. I want to call Carvalho. him Mark Carvalho. Uh, you don't want to be meeting me in a dark alley. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm sure he's frightened. <laughs> I don't uh, even know the man. <laughs> it, listen, you you didn't rise. You didn't have it. What do you mean? I had it. I didn't have it. You didn't. I didn't want it, but I sort of had it. You didn't want it, but Not I really. sort of had it. I was and okay. I can't believe that no one came calling out. I was an all-city player. Your, that's exactly what you just said. I was an all-city player. I feel like even if I didn't want it at all, someone would be intrigued by that enough to say, hey, do you want to come play here? Maybe they knew by your actions and how you carried yourself on the field that he really doesn't want or to maybe, play. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're uh, – my actions were out of games, and eh, maybe that got around that's a little. Overblown, all that's maybe, overblown. Maybe your good friend and our good friend, Coach Kyle Sanders, when he got a call about you, said, "I don't think you want him." Do you think he dissuaded people? He's a, he's a knuckle. Well, then, Kyle Sanders, you don't want to be meeting me in a dark alley, sir. <laughs> I hope he's listening right now. <laughs> that would be so great. Uh, let's take a break. Already, we, we always uh, need a little extra time. To make our picks, hopefully we can stir Anthony and uh, get him going because right now he's in second place and the week's winner. Wouldn't want to have pick. to forfeit. He got the bonus game last week for yeah, 10. I know. We talked about that. Good for him. We will be back with picks. Stay with us. This is the Bob and Jeff Show. Okay, here we go. Let's make our pick. Let's start in the college ranks, as we always do. And it's tough to find five really good games, actually six, now that we pick nine. Missouri at Texas A&M, a battle of ranked teams. Missouri ranked higher, but they are a underdog on the road by two and a half points. I'll start here. I think Mizzou is more real than people think. Six points on the Missouri Tigers. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how real Missouri is. They've struggled in games. Maybe they shouldn't have struggled. And I expected uh, cool. to have more points on Missouri this week, but when it came down to it, I only have them for one. What about you, Duda? Who you got here? Uh, not a fan of this one. Not a fan of a bunch of these games. Uh, I'm going to take A&M at home. For one, Max. Yeah, uh, uh, A and M is Mizzou is for real. I'll take Mizzou for five. He sees it more like I do, uh, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Let's get to Anthony, who won the week last week, got his bonus game for ten. You ought to be gloating a little bit. Puff your chest out. Yeah, I got my chest stuck out because so I told y'all what was going to happen. Anyway, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it because the fact that when I see Missouri play, it kind of brings back memories of some uniforms that Wichita State used to have, and it kind of makes me sick. But I'm going to go with the team that looks like what Wichita State would have looked like had they been playing football. So I'm going to take Missouri and three confidence points. Three, co three confidence points on Missouri. 
Next is Michigan at Washington, a rematch of the national championship game. Neither team is at that level. Washington at home, a two-and-a-half point favorite. Jeff. These uh, picks are presented by FanDuel, America's number one sports book, and an official sports betting partner of KFH. Now, this one's pretty easy for me. It seems like once Michigan went to Orgy, uh, a lot of the guys and the girls, they kind of rallied and huddled and kind of grouped around him. Everybody got real excited. Uh, you know, and there's kind of it, there's rising tension within the Michigan. You just don't know when it's going to just kind of explode. And I think this might be that game. Uh, I have Michigan for five points. No wonder Jeff's going to be have, over 100 after this week. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. The rest of us did. Anyways. Do the, I oh, I got it. I got it, Jeff. I'm with you. It's okay. Um, I, I'm going with Washington for five. Max. Even though Tom went there and Davey, who does the peach reviews, loves Michigan, uh, they're on the road. I'm taking Washington for three. Oof. Washington for three. Big fella Anthony, what do you think? Man, I don't know, man. We got Jeff talking about orgies and everything. Wait, whoa, whoa, Anthony. <laughs> Easy, buddy. We're talking football here. <laughs> well, I'm. <laughs> I think, uh. I'm a, oh, man. This is a good time to take a break. Right no, but I'm going to go. Let me see. This is a rematch of the title game. And like Bob said, neither one is at that level. Something about me, I just don't – I don't trust Washington, though. So I'm going to go with Michigan and all the girls and guys rallying. And I'm going to say two confidence points. Um, Good pick, Anthony. I like that. I'm going to pick uh, Washington. We're together in that one. <laughs> at home, but for only one. I don't like that game. Uh, next, we have a Big 12 matchup. How Texas are you this Tech. oblivious? All right. I'm not oblivious. I just don't like, uh, you know, childishness. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm, not, I'm not a proponent okay, of it. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Um, I'm an adult. I'm a mature adult. And Clearly. I don't. Uh, I don't do those. Things. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Texas Tech at Arizona. Arizona at home, a six and a half point favorite. Duda starts us. Um, I'm going to take Arizona. I think they're going to win this one, but I'm, I don't like this one either. So Arizona for two. What games are you going to like? Oh, you just wait, kid. Max this is NFL. I think six and a half is too much. I think Texas Tech can at least get within a field goal, so I'll take them for two. Texas Tech for two. Anthony. Oh, uh, who in the world they, in their right mind would take Texas Tech for anything? And going against Arizona. In Arizona, there's a swarm defense revisited. I'm going with Arizona and five confidence points. I'm with. Uh, I'm kind of with you, Anthony. I think Arizona's a pretty darn good team. I'm not as convinced about Texas Tech. I like Arizona uh, for five as well. Jeff? I must be really downplaying Texas Tech because I don't really understand the spread at all. I think Arizona wins this game by double digits. I've got Arizona for eight. That's your eight-pointer. That's huh? my eight-pointer. I just don't get the spread. I don't understand it. Tennessee, the Vols, on the road to play Arkansas. Tennessee giving 13.5 points to the home team. The Razorbacks, Max. Yeah, Arkansas is not going to thirteen and a half is a lot, but I'm going with Tennessee for seven. Tennessee for seven. Uh, Anthony, what do you think? I mean, that is a road game for Tennessee, but Tennessee has proven that hey, they, if we can go to Norman and knock them boys off, we can go in Arkansas and knock them off. So I'm going to go. Uh, Six on the confidence points on Tennessee. Tennessee for six. Uh, I also like Tennessee. Uh, although the road of the SEC is always a little bit dicey, uh, I like Tennessee for four. Jeff? I'm right there with you. I actually have Tennessee also for four. No real reason. I just think they're better. They're more prepared to uh, make a deeper run here. What about you, Duda? Well, Tennessee is better. There's no question about that. But the problem is that they're on the road giving away two touchdowns. 
And with the fact that you guys all think that Tennessee is going to cover this, it's easy. Arkansas for four. Thank you. You're welcome. See that? He just changes on the fly. He did? No. Has no has no conviction. Got Arkansas. I've had Arkansas down really, the whole time. You got him down there, huh? Why do you? I think I'm looking at it. He's. What are you looking at? The games and my numbers. Why I don't see your numbers on. I'll see your numbers on no, there. No, I'll show you it after. Uh, Iowa in a Big Ten battle visiting Columbus to face Ohio State. The Buckeyes, 19 and a half points. That's how much they're favored by. Anthony, you start this one. Oh, okay. So, well, in times past, I would go like eight points on Ohio State. I would actually do that. But Iowa has shown that they have a propensity for scoring points this year. It's a good word. As opposed to as opposed to the last few years when they couldn't buy points, even when they had Laporta as a tight end. So I'm going to go on the confidence side. I'm going to say Iowa with one confidence point, though. That spread is too big. Interesting. Uh, And pretty well thought out. It was. Certainly better than anything we normally hear on this show. Uh, I've got Boy, this is a tough one. Now Anthony's got me second guessing myself. You should just keep with what you wrote down. Uh, Don't let anybody change your mind. I'm going to go Ohio State for three. Jeff. Mm, this is tough. Anthony talks about Iowa scoring points. I think if they're if they have the best day of their lives, they get maybe 20 in this game. Maybe. They're more likely to fall in the 10 to 17 range. And they have a really good defense. So does that mean, so can Ohio State score 30, 35? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to bet that they can. Ohio State for six. Why do you go through all the rigmarole? Uh, do that, the, you liked it when Anthony yeah, did it. I'll come yeah, out. He was other speaking intelligently. <laughs> That's fair. What so do you have? You just want my pick then? No, I want I, you to break it down. Give us some rigmarole. Why would I break it down? Uh, it's Iowa. Ohio State's a boat to uh, explode. Go ahead. No. Iowa State? I think they're playing Whatever. Iowa. To make a pick. Jeez, oh, this it runs so long sometimes. <laughs> Iowa for three. What's your reasoning? I just wanted to pick it and get her going. What about you, Max? 19 and a half, too many points. I'm going Iowa for eight. Right, they can Max. They can keep it in there. How many points, Max? Eight. Man, Man 35-10. You, gotta, you feel good about that now, Duda? Yeah. Max hadn't got an eight-pointer. Max is one of the smartest guys here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas visiting Tempe to face the Sun Devils of Arizona State. A late game. Uh, Arizona State giving two and a half. I start here. Uh, boy, I got to see it from KU. And I'm not. I haven't yet. I like Arizona State in this game, four, two. Jeff, we're the same again on this one. I also have to see it. I can't, in good conscience, continue to pick KU like I have for the past couple of weeks. I've got Sun Devils two. What about you, dude? Well, you don't even have to ask. You know exactly where we're going back to. Until they show me something. Arizona State for eight. For eight. I can't really argue with that pick. That's come on, Jay. It's a good pick. It's a good. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. Will it work out? Who knows? But I don't know. But it could. Max, what do you got? I want to know where KU Pat's been. Um, I'm going with Dudum. Arizona State for six. Uh, Anthony, you making it a sweep? No, I'm actually going to go against the grain. I'm wow. Gonna say, I'm going to say KU and four confidence points. Four points on the Jayhawks. Now we get into our three NFL games, Buffalo and Houston. That's the bonus game. I've made it a pick em because that's about what it is. Houston at home. We start with Jeff. This was the last game I wrote down my pick for. I kind of meditated on it. I waited kind of for a sign from God himself. And God told me, Jeffrey, Buffalo, and four. 
It's a cautious guy. I hope, I hope, I hope God has better things to do. Yeah, if he's helping, he's omnipotent. If, if he's helping you in your meditation state. We know that it really wasn't the real God, so obviously that's wrong. Well, we'll see. Back Houston we? at home. Buffalo did not look good last week. I don't think they go into Houston and win. I got Houston for 10. Well, oh. Houston looked terrible the week before. Uh, and by uh, the way. And not great against Indianapolis either. No, they haven't They haven't really looked that good yet. Houston for Buffalo 10. had three games where they looked really good. Max. Josh Allen is the man. He made a throw last week, running, Every throwing week. across. His, he's the man. No, Bill, the man is Patrick. Oh, Mahomes. please, yeah. Hard to beat them in the refs. Bills for six. Uh, Anthony. You know, this, this is a tough game to call because Buffalo really hasn't looked all that bad until they took on a team that had a running back named Derrick Henry. And – I mean, they're going to make a lot of teams look bad. So I'm going to say going into Houston is, is kind of iffy. But I'm going to actually roll with Buffalo on this one. And I'm How going many to points? Eight. I'm going Buffalo and eight. Wow. <laughs> trying to make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trying to make a difference. Might, he might. He might I think make this a is crack. a really tough game. Because you, you know Buffalo has – uh, you have they have it in them to be really good, you know. Houston has it in them to be really good. Uh, both teams have had a clunker that resulted in loss. Um, I think this is tough. I'm going to pick Houston for only five. That's not really an only five is a lot. New York Jets on the road at Minnesota. The Vikings, a two and a half point favorite. Uh, we start this one with. Duda. Look, I, nobody saw Minnesota with this start. Um, nobody saw the Jets with this start. So are they going to switch around just this week? I don't think so. So I'm going to run. I'm going to run with Minnesota. Minnesota for seven. I disagree with you that nobody saw the Jets like this. I, kinda, well, I thought they'd I be a little did. better than they would be. But Max? Uh, this pains me, but the Jets have a good defense, and – They'll be out to punish Sam, so I'm taking the Jets for one. Hmm. Anthony? This is one of those good games that you want to grab a bag of popcorn and grab a seat, but you only need the edge of it. And Aaron <laughs> Rodgers has Boy, Anthony is just – Anthony, you're on a roll right now. You really are. This is crazy. Yeah. And, and Aaron Rodgers actually has some history against a Brian Flores-led defense. In other words, he's about the only one that's been able to conquer it. So this might be the game we see Minnesota get hung out with a loss, finally. Not that, you know, I have a dog in this fight, but Aaron Rodgers knowing how to play against a Brian Flores-led defense. I'm going to go with the Jets. And let me see here. What do I have left on the table? Seven. Seven, seven confidence points. You don't sound that confident. Well, he's got another one left, doesn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah. You got, uh, let's see here. You got seven and uh, eight, eight on left. on the Buffalo Houston. Well, but that's the bonus pick. So oh, okay. You could go eight. We're going to be out of time here. That's eight or seven. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to go for eight. I'm going to roll the dice and go eight on New York Jets. All right, I'm going to go exactly the opposite and roll eight on Minnesota. This is not the game they, uh, no. Jeff. Anthony's been real close to talking me out of Ohio State and now to almost talking me out of this pick, which are two big numbers. So I'm scared, but I'm rolling with it. Minnesota for seven. Boy, Anthony got me thinking, too. Of course, it's impressive that you got these two thinking, not that it takes nobody a lot, could good get, job, Anthony. Nobody could get you thinking. No, I'm good. <laughs> New, uh, <clears throat> Doing just fine here. New Orleans. <laughs> Visiting Arrowhead to face Kansas City. Sometimes I just uh, crack myself up. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kansas so City, five and a half points in this game. The, the Saints, after their blistering start, have lost a couple in a row. We start with uh, Max. 
There were cars been there. Alvin Kamara will run over these guys. Saints for four in the fleur de lis <laughs> Have you ever gotten a game ride involving the Chiefs? They never cover. They don't cover. And, you know, it's hard to beat them and the refs, too, since Goodell commands them to give them every call you can possibly give them. <laughs> Anthony, what do you have? I have yet to see any proof where you're playing against the Chiefs and the refs. I have yet to see any proof of that. So watch the Super just, Bowl. Watch the last two Super Bowls. <laughs> Anytime there's a big just, play, suddenly there's a pass interference. Oh, what happened? Oh, they just came That's because up short. it was. That's Go all. ahead, Anthony. We need to get through this. Any, anyway, I, I do not see the Saints rolling in Kansas City. Of course, the Chiefs, they've just been finding ways to win. So this one game, five and a half actually seems reasonable. So I'm going to use my seventh spot on Kansas City. Uh, Max, who wins the game outright, Chiefs or New Orleans? Hard to beat the refs. So you're saying the Chiefs win, probably, but yeah. only because of the refs. They did. Yeah. Ask Philadelphia, what do you got about, for Max, ask Philadelphia do you about the football. Ask Philadelphia about the last Super Bowl and in the forty. Uh, I like the Chiefs in this one <laughs> as well, and I'm putting seven points on this game. Jeff? That's a lot. I don't feel that. But you said, uh, and it's been around, that the Chiefs have won nine straight by a total of 54. That's six. Uh, They need to win by six here. I'll I'll say they'll do it. Chiefs for three. And finally, Jason Duda. Well, I I agree with that logic, Jeff, but the problem is they've lost uh, Rishi Rice. Pacheco's gone. That's worth about a point. They're going to have Christian Kirk in the lineup Sunday. I got a feeling that... New Orleans is going to come in and play them tight. It's going to be a three-point game. I got New Orleans for six. All right, there you go. Uh, that's the long version of our picks. We got uh, we have just a few minutes left in the show today. What was accomplished? We did picks. You got to turn your out, mic on. We found out who throws harder. Say it again. We did picks. There you go. I heard you that time. You can't really... Here in these headsets, they're not turned no, up. They're they're a little tougher to hear. Well, I, I, I hear just they're fine. They're not louder than the person's voice. You know what I'm saying? I, I hear just fine in them. No, you hear us talking. No, I hear it in my headset. Mm. We had Brandon Clark on. I heard him perfect. Uh, that's what I'm saying. But if he had been in the room, his voice in the room would have been louder than the headset. So you hear the voice over the headset. Well, I don't know about that. I do. I, I, I would like agree the headset. With that. I you. would agree with that. That's I think my headset opinion. has been perfect. We have two opinions that state otherwise. Yeah, I don't, I don't get really get involved in other people's opinions. <laughs> we know. Yes. What does that mean? Expand on that a little bit. You asked me what dates I'll be gone from the show, and I'll give them to you right now. October. Why, why the listeners don't care? October fourteenth. Maybe they do. Seventeenth and eighteenth. Whoa! So everybody, get ready. That's a long time. Well, that's like right around out? the corner. What is, what's going on Are with you going to be in Vegas for a week? No, we're go- but I have a concert in Denver that I'm going with my daughter to on the 13th, which is a Sunday. So we won't be back by what Monday. What about the 15th? 15th and 16th, I'll be here. Yeah. You're driving back? From Colorado? Yeah, because we're flying to Vegas. Well, why wouldn't you just fly from Denver? That's a great question because my wife can't take that much time off work. It's book fair week and conferences, man. She can't just... Well, I don't understand how how any of that's happening. You don't? No. I'm going to the sphere, man. Mm. I hope it's all you want it to be. I already know it is. Oh, geez. I uh, I can only imagine when you get back. We'll We'll see. We'll hear about it. Same songs. He said he's doing they're doing different ones and changing it up. We'll see if they'll change it up by October or not. Maybe they will. Maybe every month will be different. You never know. No, you do know. That's no, I don't. the problem. He said you that. always know. When you're God's 77, you'll say anything. God's not going to lie to me, especially <laughs> to me. Really? Yes. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. I hope it's what you want. Thank I you. hope it's what you want it to be. It is, and I appreciate it. Hope you have that. a good time. Dude, are you available those days? I don't know. <laughs> well, you'll have to check it out. Sure. I'll get what, back to what, you. What's happened to your mood? I'll get back to you. Well, we've all thrown our arms out today. Sore. We're throwing our bodies out. I was out. What do you mean we've all? Yeah, you're struggling. I see it in your face. (laughs) 
I don't know. I feel okay. My arm doesn't hurt, but man, I'm tired. I had a long night last night, morning. My oh, house. No, shout the out last... to the. Uh, I gotta have a quick shout out to the uh, May seniors for uh, winning the powder puff game last Way night. Way to go, May seniors! Oh, scored with no time left to win twenty one to fourteen. It was unbelievable. Big game. It was exciting. The cheerleading at halftime was fantastic. It was great. Just a wonderful uh, effort by the May seniors. Actually, it was. I I, I had a blast. Good. Uh, one uh, great. Uh, and it, it was fun for you. I enjoyed it. Your kids are uh, getting to that age now. You better enjoy it. Got, don't have a choice. Are parents supposed to go to things like that? It was there's a, so many people there. It was ridiculous. We were looking around like, what is going on? I don't think I went to Andale's. Some of the freshmen um, that came up were I like, coached, is there something else going on tonight? I coached the powder puff game. Yeah, we yeah. and won it. You drew up with, with, the, with the juniors against the seniors, and uh, why didn't you win it the next year? The well, I didn't coach the next year. Why? I I retired. Uh, you would. Yeah. That's just like you quit one while and you're done. Ahead. Eh? One and done. You win it, you move on. <laughs> or if you'd lost it, you would have quit. It's the same thing. <laughs> Why are you so bitter and angry? <laughs> All I, I mentioned was that I coached a powder puff game. Well, I just think that sheds a lot of light on your current personality. <laughs> okay, good. You know my wife listens to this show, right? Debbie, <laughs> your husband is a bad sport. Unbelievable. <laughs> is it all really? Right. It's good to see our friend Tom Thurber uh, all the way from Daphne, Alabama. No, I can't even look you in the eye when I'm fake insulting you. I know you can't because you know I'll knock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for listening, everybody. It'll be Jeff and DMH tomorrow. Yes, sir. Uh, as I take a day off. We'll see you soon.